Hi everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life, or hello for the first time. Today, a bit more on archery. I'm going to be talking uh, target archery, especially, and sight pins. And we're going to talk about the number of sight pins that are out there, um, what I've used and what I'm using now and why. And also, I'm going to be doing a quick review on one I've just bought. So stay with me and uh, hope you enjoy. So hello to everyone. Sight pins. Us target archers out there, especially, well, recurve target archers. This is what you're going to be using in conjunction with the target itself, of course, and your string to line up and to try and shoot as accurately as possible. Now there's a number of different, well, there's loads of different type pins, types of sight pins out there, but they're all very much of sort of the same design. We'll start off with the most basic type. Yeah, you've got a, a threaded bar that goes into the sight. It can move left and right, and it's also have a sight aperture. This one is just a little cheap plastic one that has got a plastic outside. It's pushed and glued on by the looks of it onto the metal thread and it's got a, point, a dot in the middle. You line that up with the centre of the target and you shoot. Simple as that. And you can see it's quite small. So that is the, the first time. And there's lots of different types like this. Um, here's another one and this one even has a cross with the dot in the center, but if they all thread into the uh, site, as you can see, there's that one. Um, okay, there's a slightly bigger one with a another cross. This was another cheap one that I got when I was first starting out. This one, yeah, it was on an old side I managed to get. This one's got a little pin with a, a an orange dot in it. The orange is there because it's it's supposed to be quite bright and you can see it against the background. Um, here's another one, nice small square with a round hole and this one's got a fibre optic. I've never been that keen on fibre optics because they never seem to really work for me for some reason. And this was the one I shot for a long time. This car, I think is a Shibuya and it's a square sight pin with a small orange dot held in position by four wires or two wires crossing over it's real difficult to see and i've i used that for ages until i saw uh oh brady ellison shooting and he came out with his sight and this is the shrewd and this is the the brady ellison version and this is attached to my um, competition bow at the moment, so a Sherlock sight, and it can do lots of different things. It can come apart at this side, and you can take out the lens. I say a lens, all it is is a clear piece of plastic, um, and it doesn't magnify at all, because you're not allowed any magnification on recurve sights. So that's one end. The other end unscrews as well, I think, I'm sure, it, uh, maybe not, oh yeah, I think it does. It's been a while since I had this, oh yeah, there we go, it's just a bit tight. So that end comes apart as well, as you can see, and inside you can have different black bits that fit in and you can change the size of the aperture. So you can go for a massive aperture or you can go for a really small one. I've gone for a middle of the range, as you can see there. Let me just tighten this up. Hopefully you can see that with an orange dot. Now you can get black dots, you can get crosses, they all come with it. And you can even get, I think, a fiber optic going through the center. But my one, as you can see there, is just an orange dot. Now I've used that now for, oh crikey, good five years I would have thought I think it's five years 
I've changed a few times. I need to clean the uh, the the dot in the centre because I think I've got some rubbish on it. Yeah, obviously got some uh, sawdust from working in the workshop. So yeah, and I find this brilliant. I just line up my my um, the dot on the target on the yellow. I have my string coming down the side of it, and because of the concentric circles, you can really, what I've found for me, I can really keep it on the center of the target really well. Um, higher poundages, you may get a little bit of movement going around. In fact, they do say that you should have it constantly moving in the small circle around, because you can't really keep that sight dead solid on your center of your target all the time because you're breathing or your heartbeat's going yeah you will move there's nothing you can do about it but maybe just fractions but you will move and i found this easier to hold on the center than this small because it's a lot smaller as you can see there a lot smaller hopefully so yeah i bought this one but this was quite expensive um could be because it's named and stuff like that because it's shrewd and but it was quite expensive so I went online and I found the cheap Chinese version this is D cut and you'll notice it's very much the same except for only one end opens one end comes out and you can put the lens in and also you can also put the surrounds so you can get bigger smaller this one I left it out, as you can see, straight through, and I put an orange dot. Now, this one did come with a fiber optic, a green fiber optic, and I couldn't see it. Simple as that. I'm not colorblind, but I couldn't see it. So I put an orange dot on there, and that size, the uh, backside. So that is what you see when you look into it. Hopefully, you can see the orange dot. And yeah, it works quite well. It was only something like 20 bucks, whereas this thing was about 120 bucks. So I thought I'd give this a try. Now, moving on until this year. If you've seen any of my um, other videos, you'll know you'll know that I've put together a bow from Toe Point. Toe Point Unison, stabilizers, a sight that didn't come with the sight pin, but I had all these other ones, so I wasn't that worried. Um, what else was there? Sight, rest, clicker, um, yeah, and all that. And I, I've just got some new limbs for it as well from China. But the other day, I noticed that Toe Point now do. Hopefully, you can see. Uh, where does it say? Yeah, Toe Point Archery. They now do a sight, or should I say, a sight pin? Now this sight pin doesn't have a lens in it, it's just straight through, but what it does have is a fibre optic. And as you can see there, this fibre optic works really, really well. I think this looks a lot like the Chef Vanderberg, yeah, Chef Vanderberg um, Shrewd sight as well. So it could be a direct copy from that, because that's what they do. Um, it also has O seals that fit in there that change the size of the aperture you're looking through. I've put this one in and it gives me a black background and hopefully you can see a black background or black around the side and then that nice bright, if I took my finger off there, um, fiber optic which I line up on the target. I've got the circle which I can line up with the target and then have my string down the side where it normally is and away I shoot. I've used this once or twice and I really really like it. <laughs> I would like to see how this works um, on, my, on a field course in a dark situation but even just by doing this if there's even just the smallest amount of light coming to it that fiber optic in there really shines brightly. This thing was 37 New Zealand dollars off AliExpress. Toe Point 
is, as I say, a Chinese company. I'm not sponsored by them, but all of the equipment I've had from them has been excellent so far. Really good price, well made, and it does the job just as well as all of the other brands. Um, yes, the sight isn't as good as my Sherlock, but it does the same. I can micro adjust it up and down, side to side for windage and stuff like that, and it works. Um, so if you're running on a budget, definitely have a look at at those, the, the Toe Point branded stuff. And when I um, stick this on my bow, the new limbs I bought, and I'll show you how they shoot as well. Um, so far, I've been mightily impressed with them. So, fingers crossed for the price. They keep shooting well. I have no damage or I have no issues with them. Because at the moment, I'm really, really impressed with them. So, that is the sight pins. We'll do some shooting with this against this. It's about $100 difference and see how well they shoot. At the moment, I can't see much between them. There, when I changed between this and this, there was hell of a difference. So, could just be me, but it just suited my eye a lot better. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. And before we go, we will do our dad joke of the day, or should I say the week? And here it is. My wife bet me I couldn't make a car out of spaghetti. You should have seen her face as I drove past her. Yeah, they only get worse. I'll catch you next time. Keep shooting. Have a great day. Bye-bye.